Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about customer communications. This is just going to cover the basic setup, uh, what all these settings mean and what you should or should not change in the system. So uh, we're going to locate this by going to the locations tab on the left hand side. We're going to select the locations we want to edit and we will simply go to the sub tab called customer communication. Now there's a couple of different settings and you're allowed to basically change these as you please. Uh, but as I said before, we highly suggest um, you stick with the most basic setup because you don't want to overwhelm your customers with notifications so they don't get annoyed with, you know, I get it, you want to keep me up to date with my order, but this is a lot of text messages and, and emails. So. First, uh, we have the order delayed communication and waiting on restaurant communication. This is two different um, settings. The order delay is going to trigger a message after uh, X amount of minutes that you set up in here. Um, <clears throat> if a newly calculated quote time is more than the determined number of minutes after the original uh, quote time on the order. So they get an original quote on the website. Now, if that changes because of the newly uh, calculated time, after this amount of minutes, they will get a message that says your order will probably be late. Um, we apologize for the inconvenience. Then we also have the waiting on restaurant communication. This is going to uh, send a message after determined amount of minutes. Uh, once the order has been updated by the driver to arrive. So if the driver arrives at the restaurant and they're sitting there for 15 minutes, for example, there will be a message uh, that's going to let the customers know that the driver is waiting for the food. Uh, then we also have en route communication. This will send a quick update to the customer that says, hey, um, <clears throat> I'm on the way with your order. Uh, you can also decide not to send this out. Then we have arriving soon. Um, this will send another text message to the customer that will say uh, that uh, I'm approximately three minutes away with your order. Um, so this is a, a good thing to have, but also it's a double-edged sword. You don't want to annoy your customers. So the relay communication is going to be a mask number that's going to protect your driver's privacy. So the customers are not going to be able to see this phone number. Um, they will be, uh, instead be pointed towards this phone number or whatever, uh, phone number gets created for your business, uh, that's going to be able to, uh, relay this communication between the customer's phone number and the driver's phone number. Then we have probably the most important one, which is order status update. Um, in this one, we highly suggest you only keep the delivered uh, checkbox open because uh, this will allow uh, your customers to know like, hey, your food is already dropped off at your front door or whatever it is. Um, but all the other ones are basically just saying, uh, telling customer like, hey, your order is now confirmed, right? Then your order has been placed, your uh, order has been arrived on, meaning that the driver's there at the restaurant or your orders en route. Like these are kind of, kind of can become overwhelming. Uh, so we suggest you just keep this at the delivered level. And then we also have the send via text, smart text. Um, this is not, you don't have to worry about this at all anymore. Um, this used to be something that, uh, ensured that the text messages go through instead of using the email to text relay. Uh, but you don't really have to, uh, you don't really have to utilize this anymore. Now there are takeout communications, uh, and, uh, GFO communications that we do keep locked down uh, because there is code involved that we have to um, allow to go through. So we don't really, we just give you the insight of what the message is going to say, uh, but you can't necessarily change these settings. Um, so if you have any questions, please let us know on Slack or via email. Um, and then we hope you find this useful and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you can see all the other features that are coming down the line. And we hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.